church to get Bible, Bible. Now, if I were to ask you, if I were to ask my sisters here, how much they send, you know, they spend, you know, they spend to buy Brazil, whatever hair stuff that they do. So, some of them, three hundred dollar US, one hundred fifty dollar US. But guess what? They, they will come and ask you, can you please borrow me one of your Bible? We don't take nothing serious, including giving. And the Bible said that in Malachi 3.10, God said that, bring forth the tithes and the what? Offering. Into what? Into my house. And test me and see whether I will not bless you. When you read Luke 6.38, the Bible says, give and it shall be what? Give it back to you. Press it down, shake it, press it down and run it over. David want to give something to God. Build an altar. And one of his servants said, that, Master, my king, you can have this. And David said, No. I will give God nothing that I didn't pay for. Amen. Some of us, we give offering because, you know, we have excess. We don't feel it. By now, in this church, by now, because I know they emphasize and every now and then they teach you what's about giving. By now, if we are a light, like, then giving should be part of you. Then by now, we shouldn't even struggle to tell you to give. We are talking about purchasing a land that costs 80000 Yet, you take $300, nothing wrong with it. But check whether your name is on the list of those who are making that contribution. We want to give everything free. And God, God give us the air that we breathe. God, you know, send the rain on us and everything free. God is giving this giving. What have you? What can you, you know, look back and say, Lord, man, God, this is what I've done for you. This is what I gave. Because God said, Lord, that put me into remembrance. And men and women of God have come here and declared good words upon us. You'll be a millionaire. Listen to me. Don't fool yourself. You will never be a millionaire just by hearing the word. No. You have to activate that word in your life. Now, there's a one word about it. I prophesize millionaires. Wonderful. Good. It's true. But you must step into it. By doing it. And how you do it? By making giving be part of your daily life. By you be convincing not because of somebody who will come here and motivate you or teach you, but you going that hey, I must give you should be. I still struggle to give. I still struggle to give. You should be convinced. You should be convinced. That is why we struggle. And we want everything, I mean everything almost free. David said that no, I won't take it free. I will pay for it. And you know the secret I'm behind? So that tomorrow I can remind God that Father, this is what I gave. Let me ask you a question. Do you have an account in heaven? Do you have an account in heaven? From, from 2000 up to now, all my tight books, I have them. I don't throw them away. Yes. Because it is where you can go and say, Father, you know, if you ask, I will tell you, if I don't pay that, I can get sick. It can worry me. It can worry me. It can still be in my heart. And so this morning, I want you, I want you, before even we can start the fundraising, I want you to know that don't just bring anything cheap to God. Amen? Don't just give because you have an excess. But give something that will move God. Give something that tomorrow you can refer to. Give something that can change certain situations in your life. Or else, the pagans and the unbelievers will keep prospering while we keep struggling. And I pray that it will not be our approach in Jesus' name. God bless you.